March uh, week five featuring Patty on Easter. Easter. Oh, <laughs> hey guys. I'm just over here I'm so excited because I have this awesome Easter candy in front of me and I just can't wait to eat it all. I have these jelly beans and then I have these three chocolate bunnies. Now these chocolate bunnies are pretty special because, well, they're amazingly good. And I just love to, you know, take the little bunny out and just see how it's all put together and how they're made out of chocolate and they're so pretty and they're so yummy. Okay. So I'm going to start with this first one. I'm going to be super duper careful because I, I just want to make sure that I'm very careful as I take it out before I, you know, chomp it all up. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, it's broken. The ears must have like fallen off when they were making it or maybe bringing it to the store. I mean, it's not going to, it's not going to change how it tastes. It's still going to taste, you know, taste really good, but okay. You know what? I've got another one. Let's try this one, okay. So, super careful. All right, looking good so far. There we go. Taking it out. Oh, this one's broken too. So sad. I mean, again, it's still gonna taste good, but I mean, I hope I have at least one unbroken bunny, okay? And I'm glad because I have a third, so, you know what? I think I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna wait on this one, okay? I mean, I won't be able to bear it if it is broken too. So instead, I'm gonna chow down on these jelly beans. I love jelly beans. Chop them all. You're right. You want one? How many do you want? Pick what you want. I love jelly beans. All of them. All the colors. Mm -mm -mm. And you know what, you're right. These jelly beans and their colors actually remind me of the story of Easter and of how Jesus came to make peace with all of us. Let me get a few. This purple one reminds me of when Jesus rode into town on a donkey. Remember last week we celebrated Palm Sunday? Now purple was the color of royalty. And when Jesus rode into this town, the people shouted that he was their king. Hosanna! But shortly after that, well, things started to change. And one of Jesus's friends, a man named Judas, betrayed Jesus. You see, even though Jesus did so many awesome things, like heal the sick and treat people with kindness, there was a group of powerful people that did not like him and they wanted to get rid of him. So Judas told them where Jesus was going to be and they came and they arrested him. Now, this orange jelly bean reminds us that Jesus was put on trial and people stood outside of the court warming themselves with fire as they waited to see what would happen. The rulers decided that Jesus was guilty, though he was actually innocent, and they decided that he should be put to death. Now, the red jelly bean reminds us of Jesus's crucifixion. You see, Jesus was beaten and he was made to wear a crown with thorns in it. They made fun of him and they hurt him. And then they laid him off to be put on a cross. Jesus was hurt and spit on. His clothes were torn and taken from him and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own. And then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. 
Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But there was still hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day. And ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? Hey, oh! Ah! And then, for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. <laughs> he taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And that's what this clear jelly bean reminds us of. You see, when Jesus rose from the dead, he did something really special. He actually made peace with us and God by doing this. You see, the flavor of the black jelly bean, the way that it's bitter and it kind of stings your tongue a little bit, it reminds us of the bitterness of sin. See, back in the Garden of Eden, in the beginning of the world, there was peace between God and his people, and between people and people, and peace between people and the world. But then, people began to make choices that broke that peace. Choices that caused sin and pain and suffering and fights and hurt, and yes, even death. And like my bunny's ears, these are broken and need to be put back together. And just like these chocolate bunnies, the peace between us and God was broken because of sin and needed to be put back together. So this is why Jesus came. He came as that peace. He came to fix the broken relationship between us and God and us and each other. When he died on the cross and then he rose from the grave, Jesus brought that peace back. He fixed the brokenness. All right, let me, let me see if my third bunny is not broken. Yes, like like this. Jesus fixed the broken. When Jesus rose from the grave, he made us all complete. He made us whole again. God made peace with us. And through him, Jesus, God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. Hooray! This is why we celebrate that Jesus is alive. And you know what? This yellow and this green jelly bean reminds us that when we choose this and follow Jesus and ask him to be our forever friend, he makes a place for us in heaven and we can grow in him. And we can even get baptized to show others that we love God. But there's one slight catch. You see, if I take these jelly beans and I just hold on to them, what happens? Well, they get kind of gross and sticky and they like melt in my hand and then I can't really even enjoy them. I mean, I have to eat them in order to enjoy them, right? Yeah. But same with these bunnies, right? If 
I just stare at how pretty they are and, and I look at them and I never take them out and I never eat them, they're gonna get really old and yucky and I'm gonna have to throw them away. So just like I have to do something with the bunnies and these jelly beans in order to actually enjoy them, I have to do something with the story of Jesus's death and his resurrection. See, it's one thing for me to just know about it and to hear about it, but did you know that I have to actually make a decision to believe it? In order to have Jesus be my forever friend, in order to have a place with God in heaven and have true peace with God, I have to actually believe with my whole heart that Jesus died on the cross and then he rose again alive from the grave. The good thing is this is actually a pretty simple thing to do. In fact, Romans 10, 9 tells us, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. See, all that means is that if you pray and you tell Jesus you believe, then you can be his forever friend here on earth and in heaven again someday. Now, if you would like to do that today, you can actually pray with me now. You can say these words in your heart or you can say them out loud. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for making peace with us. I thank you, Jesus, and I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again from the grave alive three days later. Please come into my heart and my life. Forgive me of all the things that I have done. If I have been selfish or hurtful or unkind, I want to be your forever friend. So today I say, I believe in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, if you prayed that today and you've never prayed something even similar to that before, well, then we want to make sure that you tell someone, tell your leader or your parents or even a friend or me. Oh, and one more thing, because Jesus did this for us, we can also help others and bring peace to others. Like our Bible verse says, do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Romans 12, 18. You can do this by sharing this good news of Jesus and his peace with others. One way to do this is to share this video with your friends and your family. Another way is to give maybe some jelly beans to someone and tell them the jelly bean gospel. Well, friends, I'm gonna see you later and I wanna wish you a very happy Easter. And don't forget, join us here on Sundays and Wednesdays because we have church for you and your whole family. Okay, Ryan, I think it's time to chow down. So you wanna come and eat the bunnies? We got these broken ears, they might still taste good.